So let's let's and go then, to the ship. What is so, my uh So basically the camera comes down, you see a giant a massive planetar. It's huge greenish blue gas giant or gas planetar massive uh you're in orbit around one of the moons which is a larger than earth planet it is a i believe we said class seven planet let me double check boom it is yeah i'm gonna say class seven uh which is a couple earth is class five so there you go it's it's quite a bit bigger um here's the ship sheet and you're basically coming in there. You see the planet forming out below you as you plummet towards the ground. You see the city below you, Star City. The huge space elevator going up there. You're kind of orbiting around and around the space elevator. And below you, you see this city coming up on you. And you see these pink grass everywhere with these yellow and speckled masses of herds. These huge herds of those animals that you heard about earlier. Um, I forget their name now. Um, I wonder Teleron. if I can eat them. Yeah, they're a huge. They're a big meat-producing uh, planet. Uh, they do a lot of ranching with it on the. So you see them moving out there. You see, you can actually see the divisions between the other, um, the other houses, plantation areas, because there's sometimes walls, sometimes just the grass changes noticeably. Like, have you ever seen a border from an airplane? You can just totally see that the plants change and the trees plant are different. The trees are pink and the grass is this yellow color and in the grass is these pink and yellow herds of animals flowing around. And uh, how are we flying, Nash? Oh, very gingerly, I assume, at the moment, <laughs> okay, <laughs> considering so, that last roll. Um, we are rolling piloting skill, so you get is, three dice for your training, one yeah. for your expertise, and then you're using the ship's grav drive, which gives you three dice. Okay, so a total of seven. Seven dice, and the difficulty for the landing due to standard atmosphere... And everything is three. It's pretty easy. Okay. Okay. Well, I assume that since the the planet itself is bigger, I mean, granted, you know, maybe it won't have the heavy metals that Earth has, but I assume that the gravity would also be stronger. Yeah, it's a one point one one. Okay. Okay, four or seven versus three. Here we go. Yeah! Hey, nice. I can I can pilot. I can pilot <laughs> awesome. all the things. The best we've got. At least we didn't die. <laughs> yeah, we didn't crash. It's good. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here because you did awesomely. That is a critical success. When you get a critical success greater than three successes, you add one to your reactor. Your reactor may have as many points in it as you want but between that will disappear between scenes to the amount of pips that it has or lower so if you look at the reactor on the ship sheet it has three pips so that means your ship reactor can get up to three points between scenes when it's above that it's called overcharged so you can't carry overcharge between scenes i'm trying to find that on the sheet Where? on the ship sheet yeah yeah, I'm yeah this sheet's changing but it's right okay. in the center of the sheet, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. I should have done that. Uh, 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 uh. Right there. Yay! Everybody, everybody did it. Yeah. And the the GM, I think, in what is it like? Shift click, and it'll it it focus everyone on. I it. think it's alt click. Yeah. Alt click. It's a useful one. Yeah, I just did that. I was just like, I don't know if it worked though, because I can't see it. Anyways. <laughs> So you come on, you come in, totally ginger landing. Uh, Antonia standing up on the bridge with you guys. It's like you have the big window in front of you, and you see the ship in front of you. It's got this a scoop cargo bay and everything. Oh, it's this sort of ship. Yeah, you, it's right. So you're standing there as you uh, spiral around the space elevator um, and land in um, in the Wharftown district. Right there, in that zone. So, uh, well, I, I think we're we're not looking at that. Of course. 
course you're not. <laughs> Move the players, not the game. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this is the this is Star City, Verona. In the orbit of Weston in the Weston system. So you would set gingerly down, there's a few other vessels in the general vicinity. Uh, there's a office. Uh, and you're in a fenced area. Uh, the game uses zones for everything, kind of a zone-based system. Uh, not dissimilar to Fate. Basically, a zone is an area you would generally do tasks at the scale of that map at. So. So you are now landed, and I'm just going to move something... So you know, you Antonia has just told you the location of the warehouse. She's gotten a communique from Don Sarnio, and he's waiting for you there. Um, he wants you to stay as undercover as possible on your travels between the locations. He doesn't want them to know that people have basically been traveling between the port or the Wharftown district to the warehouse district. That's why he's not meeting you in his home area of the loyalty, so. Okay. Okay, so you guys all load up in the graveler, I guess, and uh, head out right away. You have about a you have a couple hours before the meeting. Is there anything you guys wanted to do? Well, I'm just gonna stay for the record, I ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> well I was wondering, um, how well known is um, uh, um, Antonia to the, um, like, I guess? Well, that's one of the reasons they sent her. She is the, she is like basically the, the scion of the family. She's the, she, she, she's going to be taking over soon. Her father didn't become because they would have known her. Uh, she is yeah. an anagast, so it's a bit hard to tell her age. But in your research that I believe... And you're you're reaching out that your research that Reznor did and stuff. You actually did find out that she was actually very young when they left. So she kind of looks like a Montar, but so I'm guessing the people know. Would it be smart to like sort of if we're supposed to be a uh, incognito? Would it be smart to like sort of try and disguise her at all? Uh, she's already kind of taken care of that, but they don't know what she really looks like. She's kind of kept that secret. She grew up almost entirely on Cremona, and she's she spent some time here before, but she was a child back then. You actually, if you if you had looked at her during the landing, she looks very unhappy about the state of her city. Uh, pretty much what you're looking out over right now you're looking at warehouse district so it basically looks like your uh, Carsman toad kind of location right like there's an office there there's a wire fence uh, there's except you know there's holograms everywhere and they're floating around with signs and that sort of thing uh, you get tons of AR stuff that you're now down here popping in your data flows being like ads and stuff it's mostly blocked um, your AI is all Gilda, she's like, would you like to let any of this through? I can sort it all as usual, and that sort of thing. Uh, you all basically have an instance of the same AI, so your ship has the same AI as all of your own data flow systems. Um, no spam. Any... Not a big fan of spam. I was wondering, is there any chance I could run like a search to see if like you know they're keeping an eye on us or something like that? Yeah, you could totally do that sort of thing. Trying to see, you know, because we got that um, uh, one thing earlier you know, about that, um, that I guess, inquiry. I was wondering if, you know, if they're, because they know where we were. They don't know who we are. I wonder if they're still tracking us. Okay, so you're trying to basically get into uh, local security systems and download some info? Mm -hmm. Or are you trying to look to see if there's any info out on the general communications? Sort of, I guess, um, sort of like a general, if, you know, like I said, if there's like an ABB out on us or if there's, you know, some okay. sort of... so you're trying to monitor, you're trying to intercept communications that are being sent around. Okay, that's a sort comms of. task. So use your communication skill and your link. 
Right. Hmm. Now, I, I've got a two. I wonder if there's anybody else who has better. Well, you do have a two in your link, so you'd be rolling a four, a four dice. Right. So, uh, but it would be, probably be at least four difficulty because it's not. It wouldn't be public info. It'd probably be a five, actually, because it would hmm. be hidden. Just I think any I of our comms saw, experts want to do this? Yeah, I, I saw Brian raise his hand. Maybe it's something Reznor suggests to him. Like that, you know, there's someone who's better at you know communication than I am who can who can intercept. I'm yeah. more research than I am uh, comms. I'm yeah, a, I don't, I'm a little bit better. I, I only have the one link, but um, you have one in your link, but you're Charlie, right? Yeah. You have a wicked bombs. I would have, I would have five. You have five. Yeah, yeah well, I'm gonna leave that to him then. I'm not good about that. Okay, so yeah, roll yeah. five dice. Right. Five, five v five. Okay. You have a sixty percent chance of getting this. 55% chance. Mm -hmm. Nope. Right. You failed again. Man, you guys are sucking today. Man. <laughs> what is so, going on? What we're is just, that? One, we're the just one bad in the at talking to people. We're, the we're, one in the reactor that we have, what does that do? Uh, one in the reactor? You can use that while flying your ship to give yourself oh, okay. advantage or more points to spend on resources and stuff or it's, it's basically it's a resource that you can spend on things all right so i mean nothing we can do to that. <laughs> okay so i will tell you what happens from that yay yay, yay. you guys are creating the adventure for me <laughs> Okay, there's that number, that number you love so much. Okay, so I'm going to up that to three. Yeah, we're not seeing it. I don't think. Yeah, what number are you talking about? I just put a number in the corner. The seven? Uh, yeah, the seven. That seven sounds ominous. Okay, so <laughs> you just got one, so I have to spend two, so I'm actually reducing that to five. And uh, so you start, you basically start scanning all the general communications, the tachyon communications that are swinging around. And um, you, you quickly get a message um, basically from like the police operator. These are private channels. State the name of your business. Please follow your ID. And they're basically demanding at you to give your information. You've already done something. Yeah. Like okay. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just cooperate because we have... We're permitted to be here. As far as I know, we're not... Uh, yeah. Well, you right? were accessing the police channels, though. Yeah, that we were not allowed to do. <laughs> yes. Can we bluff so, our way out of it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Oh, I, sorry. I... Say we, Sorry, to this channel. We, we just came yeah. from such and such planet, so we need to switch protocols. Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll mix or up. Make it, make it look like a comms glitch. <laughs> yeah, so we, we just came from a different planet. You know, the setup is different. We just didn't switch it over properly. We were on the wrong channel. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. So the operator on the here's, like, here's our papers. Who are you? Okay, so why were you looking at obviously secured channels? I think you're going to have to... Uh, how are you trying to get out of this? Are you trying to just charm them and seem like a do doofus? Or are you trying to say somehow, quote, the law at her? What are you, what are you trying to do? Well, yeah, it, it, was, it was just a mistake. Uh, you know, on the planet we just came from, we, we have authorization for that. And here we're, we're totally not. And it was complete, like, just force of habit. And... I'm just a dumb <laughs> human. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So you're going with the dumb human in defense? I, I just got here. I don't know uh, how things work. What? Silly foreigner. Okay, so that's a self ontology task because you're dealing with an individual. You're not actually quoting the law or giving a speech, so it's not politic. So that you get three dice for that. And sure. you're definitely using your associations because you're not actually leveraging the link you're using. You're more leveraging your own, you know, knowledge of their 
personality and stuff like that. And you get one die okay. from that for either your species or your CMA. Okay. And uh, and you can increase your bond if you wish. Otherwise, you can just roll that. Um, let's increase the bond, sure. Yeah. Okay, so... That goes up to four, so three, four, so I roll five. Okay. And then and the, the threat... Multi, the threat dice... You're illegally on there, that'll raise it by one. She's used to that shit happening and stuff. I, I'd say it's four. Prepare for failure. Uh. <laughs> Charlie, you're right uh. there with me now. You realize this is statistically <laughs> difficult. This is really hard to do. I, I, it's my fault, actually. I've had similar <laughs> luck in my recent games. I brought it here. My bad. Okay, right. Blaze, you're out of here. Uh, abor Go abort the mission. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys uh, later. <laughs> fire all weapons. Uh. I mean, you know what? Oh, I man. feel sport and I feel like a gambling man. Could I try? I have no idea what we're doing in regards to what we're rolling for. But hey, it has to be better than negative one, right? Okay, so you get negative one. So I'm going to up that to three, <laughs> which is great because it's eaten up your, uh... so she's yeah. like, your location and identity have been logged. Could you please come into the facilities at, and she gives you an address. Okay. So officers oh, would okay. like to talk to you. Who has a really good speaking freaking thing? And that's all she asks. It's like, uh -huh. please come in and make sure we have all your information's correct. Because she's looking at this like your free spacer ID and stuff. Is it pretty? Is it pretty bare bones? Probably. You guys are bounty hunters. Right. You don't want to put a lot of info out there. Right. We'd like to keep track of everyone. So sure. she gives you. She gives you a uh, a local office in the warehouse district. It basically, a police dispatch building that she wants uh -huh. you to come in personally and talk to someone. Can I say I have a bad feeling about this? <laughs> <laughs> so, who yeah, volunteers as tribute? <laughs> <laughs> we just want to talk you. Come in. Mm, great. Yeah, what it. Well, the odds we can we can just get the job done and get out of here before we do it? Probably. Now, yeah, I think know who we are. Pretty low. Like, um, do they know. What do what do they know about us based on the communications exactly? Okay, so they basically have your ship ID. They right. know that you're the CCV Rosencrantz. Uh, they have the alias Charlie Eaton uh, for sure. Uh, I I would think they probably have at least an older uh, group of imagery from it because you never told me. You were trying to stealth all your your general data about yourself, particularly. Um, but I mean, that information. I mean, you would have had to have it anyways. But they have at least a couple pictures of you, your Facebook, that sort of thing. They might have the rest of you. Are one of you the captain? Um, that ship would be right. I, I mean, I always imagine pilot as captain, but I don't know. Yeah. Pilot doesn't um, have to be captain. It wasn't on yeah, Serenity. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, uh, apparently I'm a damn good pilot, but uh, I, I'm very poor in other areas that seem to uh, supplement. <laughs> if we get a vote, I think I'm going to vote for, for Charlie. Let's go. Yeah, let's have the Mapuckish Rogue be our captain. <laughs> okay, Charlie, you're the captain. So definitely your information's there, and probably the fact that you're with for your three or four others. So Charlie's our Nathan Fillion? Yes. <laughs> Charlie Fillion. Shiny. <laughs> okay, okay, Captain. So what are you guys going to do? Are you going to go to the police office? You know the police office is pretty much uh, <sighs> here. Um, but you are supposed to be going over here. Yeah. Well, 
they said we had a little bit of extra time. <laughs> this is not exactly what we wanted to spend it on, but uh, we who they who they got we. Well, yeah, I mean, no, I would definitely no, no. Just, just go in by myself, but um, yeah, I guess I'll just go in. It's just going to cause more problems if I don't. I think. Yeah, if you don't, <laughs> you're the one who talked to the put. You guys talk to people who ran this place and were dissidents no. and stuff. If you don't show up, they will put out a general, like, basically an APB out on you, showing that you're supposed to sh show up to the police or to the police right. to watch out for you. But... No, they, you're the question. Oh, sorry. Sorry. They might landlock your ship, but not normally just not for not showing up. Right. If you did something bad after the APB, they might try to lock you on your ship. But there's no lockdowns. There's no like mechanical lockdowns. So you just might have to like fight your way in and fly away and then so deal with what they're just gonna have. they're gonna put a giant boot on my spaceship. There, there's <laughs> no, I just said they aren't aren't going to do that right away because that's actually that's actually quite a difficult thing for them to do here, especially since you're staying at Wharf Town. That's probably why Antonio wanted to be there. Uh, if you stayed up on the space station, you'd be locked directly to the space station and be able to lock it manually. Ah, uh, okay. No, but here down here, you're, it's ground. Like, it's just yeah. grass. The burnt grass no. around you. To make it pink, better for them, pink can we... Pink grass. Oh, I'm sorry, can we sort of, like, uh, forge some documentation that sort of, like, collaborates with what he said? Uh, he basically sold help. the truth, so that's that's a routine task of that's who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't like make it you know look exactly like what he said uh well he did say that he gave him his regular name and they know your ship so you guys as far as they know they don't know about your contract so you haven't lied to them yet that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> haven't lied to them yet <laughs> yet <laughs> so you could just avoid this and go straight to the warehouse if you want well uh, we i have a sorry uh, I was just gonna ask. Um, I don't know what's possible with our with our ship uh, exactly, but is it like is there anything I could maybe do to like, I guess an invisibility kind of or stealth thing for the ship would be too much to ask. Um, no, you can stealth your ship. I mean, you can stealth yourself that way. That's what shields are good at. That sort of thing. It filters information and that sort of thing. Uh, they know where your your ship is here. They, if they can't find you, might come by, but they're not going to board uh, a ship. Not with, because you bought a bunch of rights, right? And the standard moorage rights includes they're not really just supposed to come aboard your ship. It's private, extraterritorial region. Okay. So for a you didn't show up for a meeting on time, they wouldn't do that. It just means there's an APB out on you if you don't show up. Not that they're going to come and attack you. <laughs> Hmm. Or boot your ship yet. Now, when you get into a big firefight later, then they'll boot your ship. And you'll have to fight your ship for that. Yeah. But so like I, I said, I... it's a big effort to move a giant piece of mechanical gear over to lock down an entire Corvette sized starship. It's a freaking World War II submarine, pretty much, right? Okay. So they, they, they know where the ship is, so let's get the, the cargo and the. Uh, what's her name? So, can, yeah, so we can move the cargo. Get wall. Antonia in, in, into our, uh, what is it, Gra Graviton? Graveler. 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 So get that, get that into the Graveler so it's not in the ship, and then I'll go in and have a nice conversation. Okay, is, are you going <laughs> to drop him off there? I mean, it is kind of across the district. Or are you guys going to, what's the plan? Yeah, maybe just tr drop me off a block away, and then <laughs> I'll meet well, you. <laughs> I don't know if we should be going no towards the police station with our <laughs> ill-gotten gains or whatever. Uh, okay. I mean, can I take a cab? <laughs> you could try to take a cab. You can just contact it, right. contact an Uber. Uh, I'm yeah. surprised you're going yeah. in, but okay, cool. Uber. <laughs> well, I mean... You can. It's totally fine. I was just like, oh, okay. They're going in. We. Uh. It's now, does there. 
I assume that the location that we're staying in, is there some sort of outside protection or something like that? Uh, just... What are you talking about? In regards to the, the ship, because if we're all taken off... Okay, so yeah. ships are pretty secure. Okay. Uh, pretty much you're, you have to be in your data flow to access the ship. It's, it's a secure network inside yours. So imagine it this way. You have uh, your public data flow. It's like a circle around you. Mm -hmm. And then you have your private data flow. That's like a circle inside that. So they have to actually break through and hack you to get to your inside circle to take down your equipment and stuff. And you guys can do this sort of stuff. Reznor, here's looking at you, you're a hacker. So if you were, if you get hacked, you can have your, your tools taken down. You can do that to other people. Uh, you can shut down their various pieces of gear if it's online, uh, which Ethertech stuff is, but other stuff won't be. Most of the stuff on this planet will be. And then inside that is your AI ship connection so they'd have to get past you then and into the ship so they'd have to hack you personally with nobody at the ship means they kind of have to find you or do some actually get into the ship and do a really difficult hack because they have to actually create a new uh connection to a secure network which is quite difficult to do okay so and besides that you have locking doors and that sort of thing <laughs> Ah, technology. Yes. <laughs> okay, then. I guess we... Your we mechanic is spending... Besides, your mechanic's staying behind, spending time working on it, right? Totally. Sure. <laughs> Whoever. Okay. Whoever that is. What? There was... Uh, do, 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 do. Zerluto was staying behind, I guess. Well, not really the mechanic. But anyways, the mechanic was <laughs> is more Carter. But anyways. Okay, so you guys are heading out. And you're going to the police station? Oh, let me mark the police station on here. Okay. So that's there. Okay, so you guys aren't try trying to be stealthy or move really quickly or anything, so it's a routine task just to fly over to the station and drop him off. Unless you're trying to drop him off incognito so they don't see your graveler. I would say incognito. I mean, the more we're sort of, you know, visible, the worse it's going to be. Okay, so you're just trying to drive casual, or are you actually cloaking your vehicle? Can we, like... Drop them off like a like a block away. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking of too. That's yeah. driving casually. Okay, mm -hmm. Nash, are you? You're probably flying oh, the graveler, right? I I'm really good at driving, so that's the only thing I can contribute to this group. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> one person who can drive. The rest of us are kind of <laughs> yeah. The rest of you are just like oh, uh, you know, as TLC would say, y'all are scrubs. <laughs> Okay, so I need you to roll a piloting task. Okay. Have you figured out the character sheet? All right, I, I got I got the three in piloting. Yeah. Plus that. your expertise. Expertise, that's four, and I, I don't see anything else that could go on okay. top. Okay. So the graveler, you'll notice, is on your sheet. It on has a sheet. rating of two. <clears throat> graveler, graveler. It's down. Right next to associations. Got it. Okay, I got. I got it's two done in three yeah. columns. I use the three column thing that they have standard. I have to change that up, I think. But yeah. okay, so that gives you a total of five dice. Mm -hmm. And or no, six. Dice. Six. six. Six dice. Yeah. Yes. And um, for th for difficulty, um, you're trying to covertly drop somebody off, which would normally be pretty easy. But it's a police station, so I'd say let's just make it average of three. So average of three. So five task dice, three threat dice. Uh, six, six task dice, right? Yeah, six task dice. Four and two. Six task dice, three. Yeah. Let's see, with a massive advantage, can you roll well? Can I fail? Yes, you can. Yes. Good job. 
<laughs> Charlie's head. This is statistically uh, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> what in the uh, hell? Oh goodness! I did tell you guys I was approaching six 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 uh, hours on the site, right? So. It the good thing about role playing games is you can actually have fun losing as well as yeah, winning. Right. <laughs> okay. Um... Nothing ever goes smooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, so I just park you right in front of the, the freaking police station. Be like, hey, boss, we're here. <laughs> Dead okay. I, I'm using this. You it's basically an radioactive uh, transport you've got there. You basically pull. <laughs> you pull in what you think is going to be behind. Right? Oh, parking this, pull in this alley. Right? So you're pulling this alley. And as you pull into the alley, you realize it is the parking lot for the police <laughs> area. Like, it's the big parking lot from, like, any TV show with a police parking lot. There's a million of them, you know, like. Uh, yeah, Law and Order. That Breaking <laughs> Bad sequel. You know, it, it basically there's a big gate and the cop looking right at you, right in the face. The two of you sitting up at the front. Who's sitting up in the front with Nash? Hi. <laughs> Charlie, I'm gonna are you up, up there as the captain and the one being dropped off, or are you in the trailer? Bro. It's I'm like a multi-use adaptable trailer, so in this case it's like kind of like a back of a car, kind of limo with a cargo area. So who wants to sit up front with me? I'm like so back up. I feel pilot. so low. No. Okay, like so, so low. Charlie's up front too. So he looks over Yay! and, he, and he's like, "Can I help you?" I'm gonna wave him hi. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're just dropping me off, and I'll just go and get out. He opens the gate and motions for you to go in. Uh, like, <laughs> well, we're committed now. I'm just gonna. Okay, so you. By the way, your your vehicle does fly. Mo a lot of vehicles are ground effect, so they can't or have wheels or something. But yours does. But most vehicles that yours is yours isn't disguised, but yours looks enough like it's super common. That's why it's used. Are commonly ground effect vehicles, so he doesn't necessarily know that it could fly away. Okay, so you pull okay. in. You see a bunch of vehicles. There's several that look similar to yours in different colors. Uh, everything's got that kind of Spanish uh, villa look. There's like these walls that are like that that kind of yellowy white colored walls with, with little stuff on it. And this place looks like an old Spanish villa kind of building, except it's got like uh, kind of like a laser fence along the top and uh, the gate and a bunch of vehicles parked in it. So, so if you, you see the look on Antonia's face, she's looking around going, you guys are totally fucking this up. Uh huh. You know, if they catch me, we're done, right? Correction, dear lady, I'm fucking this up. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, we're I. All... <laughs> She's like, oh, we should have just used. We've done one people. good roll. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was landing the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. I, if, uh, you okay. know, if I don't come back, just just take off, get back to the ship. What color is your traveler? <laughs> Um, it was supposed to Bang. just look like a... It's really common, so pick any of the primary pastels, and those are common colors on this it's, planet. It's blue. Okay. No, I'm looking at you, blue. Carter, it's purple. It's, like it's purple. Salmon. It is pimp purple. <laughs> okay, it, it's pastel purple. Pastel colors are really common for vehicles here. There's actually a major cab company that does everything in the pastel pink color. Yours isn't too far from... Uh, actually, the right you know, as a the geoscientist in the group, would know that yeah, the right chemical sprayed on it might be able to make it that color if you did a good job of doing it. Mm. Anyways, so you park. There's a couple cabs here. There's several yellow and a green and a couple other purple vehicles, and you just kind of park amongst them and blend in. You basically showed up in the Honda Civic. Or the Toyota Corolla. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So you park... There's some police vehicles out there too. They have a big, a big other like uh, underground parking kind of lot over to the side, and then there's a door to the right. Quick donuts. So, I mean, I, I'm gonna go in, just like wait a few minutes, and then just kind of drive off, and then I'll meet up with you guys later. 
think is probably the best. Uh, probably be a smart move to get the as far away from there as <laughs> possible. So, Vera, yeah. uh, you don't think the cops are going to think it's weird that you're leaving him after you came into the regular parking rather than pulling up front like a regular person would? I mean, we just dropped <laughs> well, him off so he could join the Explorer program. We don't need to be here the entire time. <laughs> okay. So, I Charlie. Mean, if, there's, if there's a cop standing there watching you, then. There's wait, a cop uh, sitting <laughs> at the gate. Like, he's in the well, little gatehouse. There's a little gatehouse with a little, like, basically like a laser fence that he can zip and remove whenever he wants. Mm -hmm. and there's a holographic stop sign in five languages. Six, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think maybe I, I get out. Like, I think, you know, that it's going to be, that the cops are going to think it's pretty weird. So maybe I get out and go with Charlie uh, just to, like, back him up on his story or whatever. Okay. Bye, Carter. Soul Evolved, <laughs> keeping together, the Martian of the Human. Excellent. Okay, so you guys get out, and there's a door on the right, and it's just a door. It's nobody's sitting there as far as you can tell. It's just it's what it's kind of like a metal door with a one of those square windows like they have. Like a security mm -hmm. door. You guys just go in? Uh, yeah. Let's, okay. let's go. So you guys walk through the door and you hear the sounds of like pretty much like an office. Uh, people are talking, people are like working on their data flow links. Uh, there's some hard kind of console kind of com computer like devices that are plugged like on the wall that some people are sitting at. Um, uh, pretty much you see all that on the other side of a big security window. And then in this area, there's a bunch of people sitting and there's a, there is a triax uh, person sitting right behind a big glass window looking at you as you come in. Uh, they're wearing basically like a police uniform of sorts. So I can't really wear a lot of clothes because they have this like, metallic exoskeleton. They look like giant, like an insect with a metallic exoskeleton. But they wear like the sashes part and like a vest-like thing and a couple other like, basically the accoutrements of an outfit without the undersuit. You're all wearing kind of like a a free spacer vest which has your shield unit and your reactor on the back and that sort of thing and uh looks at you when you come in and goes good afternoon sir uh hi uh i'm charlie eaton i was told to check in here Ah, uh, charlie oh yes the amateur radio enthusiast of sorts. <laughs> you were giving a full spectrum scan of all the local, all the ta all the tachyon emissions and the whole thing, and uh, playing around with encryption for some reason. So, <clears throat> yeah, you'll have to talk to a detective about that. Please sit down. Okay. Is this uh, is this going to take long? <laughs> Sir, it will take the time that it takes. Sorry, I'm a Canadian. It's hard for me to do American uh, <laughs> police or... You're basically at the DMV. So you sit next to some stinky people. Oh, that's always awesome. Uh, there's a few people who are handcuffed to their chairs and stuff. Wait a minute. I should have gone in there because that would have been like, you smell delicious. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't eat people in the... You just made the cordon creepy. Okay. Just, just sit there and be like, so... What are you do tonight? Can I lick you? Okay, so you guys sit down and you're waiting. Do the rest of you leave, or are you gonna stay and wait? Um, hmm. let me think. So uh, we have. So what's all going on in the parking lot exactly? We know okay, there's so a guy in the um. Uh, so there's part cars. Did so we just lose Charlie? Oh no! Uh, oh, Brian, come on, come back to us. Yay! Okay, great. So, you have a parking lot. There's parked, there's parked vehicles. It could be private cop vehicles. Some of them, they, you know, they just didn't park downstairs or whatever. Some of them could be some of the stinky people's vehicles. Some of them could be just cabs. You don't know. Uh, there's a guy sitting in a little thing to basically take your money kind of booth. It's a little booth. And he's got... Uh, two gates, one for leaving, one for coming. They both have stop signs on them, and he's covering that. There is a wall around the place. It's got a laser fence on top of it, but you could fly over it if you wished. 
Uh, there's a large building in front of you. It is a three-story uh, Spanish-style villa building that's been has you know all the technology kind of nicely hidden away, but then some of it's slapped on the top. It's been going on a while. Uh, the people in the car, you've got Nash sitting up front, and then you have Resner 8 and Antonia Montar sitting in the back. She looks really not very happy, happy to be here. She's like, I can't believe you guys actually showed up. That's... Why are we Why are we even here? Pretty much. If we act are... like we have something to hide. Because <laughs> we're upstanding <laughs> citizens. Just... Okay. Doing a little side job. Hide, hiding in plain sight. It's all, all <laughs> part of the plan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so are you guys waiting or are you leaving? Um, what is stopping us exactly from leaving? Just the guy at the gate? I mean... Yeah, you'll just have to talk to him again and he'll be like asking you why you're leaving and stuff probably. I'm going to tell him I'm worried. He might not ask you anything. You don't know, but that's what you're afraid of, of course, that he'll ask too many questions and you'll end up inside too. Cannolis. We do want to Let me see. Do you guys have good communication skills? <laughs> I mean, I got a two. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Yeah. I don't think it would be that suspicious. It's not going to be a super high, but it's up to you. <laughs> no, with if our you guys are just going to wait we for just, a little bit. We should just sit here and rack out. I said, well, I think if we leave, say, you know, we got to um, say, like, you know, our. Um, uh, me our mechanic needs something or something like that, you know. Kind of food up in the oven. Because okay. we have someone who's, you know, someone we have to get to a meeting. I mean, we've got stuff to do. <laughs> We're busy, busy people. Okay. <laughs> so I'll go back inside. So meanwhile, they're waiting around being indecisive. You I, guys I are have sitting a question, there. actually. What are you trying okay. to do? What's up, Cantor? Uh, Carter? Um... Yeah, so the the guy who you described earlier, um, who was sitting nearby, he was a was he a triax? Oh, the triax. He's sitting behind a yeah, window. Triax. He is a uh, the triax was a species that showed up in Soul System on sleeper ships and it becoming friends with the new brand new species of Martians, and uh, pretty much you guys were became friends and developed a new society when you managed to get back to the Triax homeworld, their homeworld was conquered and so you ended up conquering that entire quadrant in revenge. Oh, okay. So That's the Martians um, and Triax background you would of course know. Okay. So we're Martians and Triax are sort of friends or are they uh, <sighs> their species have a particular affinity, whether or not uh you personally have any of this. I mean, the Oath Alliance is mostly Martian and Triax. So you've known lots of Triax in your life. They have no genders. Uh, they tend to be a bit deadpan. Sometimes can be pretty funny. They're all individuals. It's just species. Okay. Um, I'm and wondering if... It... Right, yeah. Um, I'm wondering if it would be possible to use like my wartime society and my background as a peacekeeper to like appeal to this... An entity as like like a hey I'm I'm sorry about my friend here he's he's a real doofus but you know we're we're we both you know we kind of understand each other we both try to do the same things um, our our people our friend are you know have an affinity for each other is there any way we could speed this whole process up okay well yeah I would let you use oath alliance which would give you two points in associations I would let you gain an advantage for your species thing because you, how you describe that. That's totally cool. Otherwise, it is uh, sophontology. Or okay. uh, it could be politic if you're kind of going, well, we just rules and laws and blah, blah, blah. But it's mostly sophontology because you're trying to, you know, chum up to the person. So it's two, two points for that. Okay. And then you get to use two for Oath Alliance because you're, you're pushing that that history that you probably both share and you can spend you can borrow from your bond one if you like definitely um so if i spend one for my bond two from that and two for my ontology i'm up to five right yes okay so your intent is to convince them to just let you leave say they came in take i took a picture everything's fine the detective didn't really need to visit them i talked to the guy and they seemed like fine dudes they just fucked up 
Yeah, basically, uh, hoping I can make him better at his job with a little charisma. Uh, yeah, and are you pu are you pushing on just the charisma part, or are you pushing on anything about how easy this is going to make his job once he doesn't have to deal with more people? Yeah, like I, I see the people sitting in the in the handcuffs nearby, and I'm just like, let's let's get us out of here so you can deal with people who are actually a problem. And make this if, if we're if we're really up to anything, would we be dumb enough to come in here? Come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so all that sort of stuff. For all of those excuses, that's one circumstantial for sure. That's just, but just one. You can only have one. So sure. Okay, yeah. so you got two plus two plus bond. That is five plus six for the circumstances. Okay. All right, six task die. Here we go, and then and threat dice. And threat dice. It's letting you go. That's got to be one harder than the ordinary, so four. Sure, that's fair. Okay, here we go. Two successes. Okay. Oh. Looks at you and goes. Okay, but I, I need pictures of you both. I think I look towards towards Charlie and just like, can we do this? Yeah, I'm I'm very photogenic, so. I mean, they, they have all the video since you entered the surveilled area, and you're standing in front of somebody, and everybody records everything all the time. They just ignore it most <laughs> of the time. It's what happens when you have unlimited uh, bandwidth or storage on the space. Time. Welcome to the modern age. Nothing is hidden. You record everything, but anyway, so he's like, stand there, looks at you. He pulls out a device. It's like some hybrid camera kind of device, and he takes a couple like full holographic pictures. Sure. Stay out of trouble, guys. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we appreciate this expediency, and as we walk out. Okay, so you walk out, and currently, what is Reznor and Nash doing? Um. I guess we're sitting in the tr in the truck. I guess just waiting <laughs> with a very pissed off. Person. Just say, don't do anything that makes us roll dice. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> we can get through the rest of the thing without <laughs> the dice. We'll win. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is extraordinary. I have to analyze this and I double check. Maybe I'll have Brian looking at this freaking <laughs> stats, man, because I don't know. <laughs> the rolls are most of it is like middling you have like these one or two dice that are like ones <laughs> maybe we should turn on the 3d dice maybe they'll help <laughs> <laughs> they usually fuck it up but you know in this situation anyway so so they come out they've only been in there for like 20 minutes as you guys argued and maybe one of you played video games or something and uh yeah tried so... to calm down this is <laughs> Yeah, Antonia is looking very unhappy. She's been sending messages back and forth. She says she keeps saying, "Yeah, yeah, no problem." She keeps you can hear her talking out loud a little. People do that sometimes when they're on the data flow because instead of just sending mental texts, it's just BCI it scans your brain stuff. But she keeps saying out loud, "Oh yeah, no problem. We're totally on schedule." And then looks at you guys like, "Hurry up!" <laughs> Well, we had a few hours. We're taking care of. <laughs> okay, does everybody get in back horrible, to the horrible same mistakes. seats? Okay, excellent. Okay, so you guys head on out. Okay, so you guys are just going to the warehouse district to go to your your meeting. Yeah, I think we'll do the job. <laughs> okay, so um. Oh, I wonder. I mean, they have their faces. There's something we can do to like disguise them too. There's, there's, mm. <laughs> there's no point. <laughs> yeah, you guys can uh, have disguise yourselves uh, with basic disguise. If you want to do full disguise, it'd be like a project, which would have been best to do at the ship where you had your one, bio one, lab. One mustache, the other a wig. <laughs> a bio lab would allow you to use a little like some base materials to like change your appearance and as a project, but that's going to take too long. Yeah. So you could just, uh, I don't know, put some basic glue on your face. on someone. <laughs> Give but, someone glasses. Man. Okay, glasses, so they'll never... Uh, when I'm just going to get thing. a fro wig. I'm just going to be a raptor with a fro wig. Okay, awesome. So, we say you're disguised. That Pacey puts you in the stealth state to recognize you. 
uh, from videos and stuff. So you guys put this on on the trip, and then when someone tries to do it, because every every round in combat or something, or or any sort of tense situation, there's rounds and they go uh, in order, and you guys can go any order you want inside your own time. It happens simultaneously with the threats. Uh, if you're say in a stealth position of any sort then it's a compelled task it's a defense action so you just say you're you state that you're in it and then we roll to see how well you did when you're defending it do you understand okay awesome. so i have a question in regards to the uh, the grappler grappler yes um it has an armor value three what does that mean uh if it takes damage it has one slot of armor which means you need to they need to roll higher than you need to de l fail by more than negative one to take a condition on the graveler otherwise if you just do one then it's to it's one higher so they have to roll you have to roll a negative two to take a condition to the graveler and if you take a condition that's really bad. That's like injuries and stuff. Otherwise, ones will just slowly reduce that arm. It's like okay. a threshold system. There's three okay. slots per threshold, and you have to roll one higher than that slot to succeed and hurt the person and get what you want. I'll explain it when we do combat. Okay. Okay, so you guys are traveling over here. Uh, you're, are you trying to stealth there or anything? Oh... Uh. <laughs> or are you just driving? That is a role, but part of our job is to like kind of remain unseen. But they don't want to see us like traveling from district to district, right? Yes. So I think it's probably a good idea, even though we have to roll. <laughs> okay. So, um, what is a, another piloting task, Nash? You can get. Hey, that you're good at that. Yeah, our best roller right there. Now, okay. The holy roller. One so, fail, are you success. taking a direct route, or are you taking, like, side streets and stuff the whole time? Let's say side streets. Okay. Yeah, I, I think side streets would be more stealthy. Okay, so side streets and stuff will give you, uh, will make it easier. Yeah. Uh, you have to cross a direct route, but... The actual entering the area where it really matters is through these tangled streets around the warehouse district and in the flats. And if you're cutting straight through rather than taking the direct route around. So let's say this doesn't matter, this, the original part. So uh, you're just trying to lose somebody there if they're following you. Let's say three. Three. Six we can do this. versus three. Yep. Cannot fail. Win. Boom. Epic win. Nice. <laughs> okay. At least, at least we can pilot. There, yeah. there's, there's new, new strategy: only piloting tasks. <laughs> <laughs> if we can ram them, we'll be great. <laughs> All right. Okay, that is awesome. So, uh, you actually don't have it. It would be your injuries of the defending individual that would get hit by the uh, hits, not the armor. But anyways, I'll explain that to you later. Okay, so you get to gain one point in your reactor. 